Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. Hope you're doing well. Of course, we're going to be waking up to the temperatures, the coolest we've seen since the middle of May. I'm expecting 40s in the Hill Country, 50s in the Austin area. It will be chilly, but then sunshine quickly warms us up. We'll still be unseasonably cool by a few degrees, forecasting a high of around 79. Here's a look at more in tonight's Chicks Chat. Here's a little time lapse for you from Monday as the clouds were passing, the wind was howling. This was after that cold front that pulled through brought us some early morning rain, even some nice rainbows. Well, now in the wake of that cold front, temperatures will be dropping hour by hour through the overnight all the way through the 50s. I'm expecting low temperatures by morning to be ranging from about 43, 44 degrees in Mason to around 52 degrees in LaGrange and 53 in Austin. Not going to be a record. The record of 42 is certainly safe, but it will be unseasonably cool. Only we'd have followed by unseasonally cool afternoon high temperatures. We should be running around 82, 83 degrees for a high about 79 by four o'clock with a northwest wind. Now our winds are gonna shift out of the south later in the week and that will usher in some warmer air. Forecast high temperature in Mason about 77, 81 in San Marcos, 79 degrees in LaGrange. Okay, talk about that warming trend. In fact, we may as well throw the word hot out there as well. Now I think that Tuesday night into Wednesday, we may see temperatures that are as cool, if not colder, because of clear skies and light winds. We're fighting a little bit of wind for the overnight tonight into tomorrow, so that's why I'm not too sure we'll all see the super chilly air. But Wednesday morning looking more likely. Sunshine galore, mid 80s Wednesday, upper 80s Thursday, Friday. I had to go there. I put one day in the 90s for you on Friday. Then Saturday, Sunday, more humid air coming in. Next rain chance that's decent at all coming in on Monday. And it's only about 20%. Not all the computer models have jumped on board with that possibility.